The Indian Ocean town of Malindi on Kenya's Swahili coast is often referred to as a playground for the rich and famous, a paradise on the shores of the Indian Ocean. It is, of course, a beach lover's dream, the perfect ocean getaway. However, like many places and environments around parts of Kenya, what happens on the surface can be somewhat deceiving. It's an area that uh, is affected by historical injustices. It's an area that is affected by land issues. Most of those people are squatters. It's an area that is affected by violent extremism. And so you are talking about the whole, almost the whole population being traumatized. Malindi ime imekuwa imehusishwa kama hotspot ni hii mzozo ya itikadi kali yani radicalization unit kadikali imeingia sana katika Malindi vijana wetu wameharibika kulingana na ukosefu mwanzo wa makazi kwa sababu wakipata pia wanawake hao wenye mapesa watoto wadogo wadogo wanaharibika ndio pia wanaingilia mambo mengi mabaya mabaya jamii yote imeathirika hakuna mtu ambaye hajaathirika kwa sababu mimi wenyewe nilikuwa mwathirika kuna wale ambao wanaathirika wanajua wameathirika kuna wale ambao wameathirika na hata hawajui kwa nini wameathirika na hawajua kuwa wameathirika mimi nilijikuta mimi nimeingia kwenye mihadharati kwa sababu ya marafiki kwa sababu ya wanaume kwa sababu mambo hayo hayo nilikuwa nikaenda out nikito nilipokuwa na nyoma mapombe nini baadaye nikapata mwanamume nilikuwa navuta bangi nikishtukia mimi nimeingia kwenye hero in 1991 somalia had just disintegrated I was sent to work in a refugee camp and it was in Utanga refugee camp in Mombasa in 1991 uh, that I came face to face to what trauma is, to what violence can do and how it can traumatize the people. There is now when I became passionate about the caregivers because uh, while working in Utanga refugee camp and in Bungoma among the IDPs, I was taking a lot, but I didn't know that I was being impacted. Then I started being keen about the care for the caregivers, the trauma of the caregivers, because while there, I went down with secondary trauma. There is, though, a unique way in which Kumekucha creates change. The change comes from within and happens within the same communities. Sahi, watu wanafanya mambo ambayo yalikuwa hayako katika tamaduni za watu wa Malindi. Kitu kingine ambacho sasa hivi kimeebuka kipya kabisa ni mauaji ya wazee. The broader objectives um, is promoting social healing, reconciliation and building resiliency uh, starting at the grassroots level with the hope that it trickles up to the national level across all the diverse Kenyan cultural landscape. The hope of this program is to craft a new hopeful future for the next generation. Kumekucha walipotuletea hii elimu tumepata kujua majukumu yetu vizuri na kukaa na jamii na kuzungumza yale ambayo yanatusibu sisi. Kwa sababu kama kwetu Uganda tumekuwa na shida ya watoto kubakwa na wazee kuuliwa. Lakini hii yote lazima kulikuwa kuna sababu kwa nini inafanyika hii kwa sababu nimesoma kwamba mtu akifanya jambo lazima huko nyuma alikuwa na historia ya yeye ya kufanyiwa kitu kama kile Most of us at Green String Network are peace builders and as peace builders we've been doing a lot in terms of uh, relationship building uh, fiscal uh, rehabilitation in terms of uh, resettlement but I think for many years what we had forgotten was the whole issue of um, inner wounds. And that is what trauma healing does. Kumekucha ni tafsiri kwa lugha ya kiingereza, the new dawn. Yani kumepambazuka. Na katika mila na tamaduni zote, kukipambazuka, wakuna new hopes, matumaini mapia, uwa mtu afikiri lili lajana, anafikiria, kitu kipya ambacho kitatoka na anapofikiria kitu kipya mara nyingi afikiri negative anafikiria 
positive. Kwa hiyo kumekucha ni kitu ambacho inakuletea kitu kipya ambacho kina mabadiliko katika maisha yako. I like the their approach in reaching these people. I like the practical part of it. As in we use a lot of materials like pictures to relate with what is happening with our people in the society. This is no easy task. The victims here in Malindi and indeed across all areas where the Green String Network operates have been through more than most could imagine. Mimi likuwa nikiamko subuhi, eh? Mimi natembea naenda kule baharini. Natembea baharini kule mimi natafuta kama ni wazungu na wazungumza nao. Naweza kumwambia mzungu twende leo tukafanye sexy nataka onipe ya tatu. Mimi nilikuwa silali ikiingia kitandani basi nikulia paka asubuhi. Mimi nilikuwa ni mtu wa kukasirika na kikasirika wewe utajua kwa sababu nitalia paka nitosheke hasira zangu zishe. In most parts of the world those who are hearing and speech impaired are given the same opportunities as anyone else. Here in Malindi it can be a death sentence. Those people have been traumatized. Imagine from childhood he always sees himself as, uh, as, separ as different from others. The other people do not understand them, and they don't understand the hearing also. So they, they, have, they have lived in a, in a situation that, in a world of their own, they were seeing as if they are lesser than the hearing. Before, I used to be very angry, and I would suffer from ulcers, and also my heart was paining. But when I was learning about the Green String Network, I came to understand how possible it is to control anger and how my heart can, can get a problem. Because even before, before I, used, I had decided to commit suicide by stabbing myself, because my heart was paining. But now I've learned to forgive because I'm better I can understand, uh, understand others, even in my family life. We have a program, we have a training manual that uh, uses um, storytelling, uses um, pictures to communicate the issues about trauma and trauma healing. Now I've known, even if I get angry, I've learned from the thermometer that I'm able to control myself. Always the green string remind me that I have to stay focused and think better. We don't set the agenda for the community. We provide tools and training for them. And what happens is that uh, the issues that they want to address come out in those groups. Um, like I say, that we have Kumekucha groups that, are, that have 15 participants. Um, they are led by two facilitators and they have a community coordinator and I oversee that whole entire program. What the community leaders are doing is just creating that sacred space where community members, a few of them come together, a maximum of 15 of them, once a week for 12 weeks to talk about the traumatic events, to go through awareness about trauma, what is trauma, what is trauma healing, what are the symptoms, what are the coping uh, mechanisms, and what are the, the healing processes. But within the communities, and indeed within groups of those who have been affected, there is change. There is a revolution happening. The help that these individuals receive from those that have experienced some of the same things in life is literally life-changing, even in the most dire and difficult cases. Trauma is massive in Kenya. Look at historical injustices and the trauma that it caused, the ethnic clashes and the trauma that it caused. Tukiwa wakati wa siasa, huwa pengine tunatarajia kuna kitu kitajikuka. Lakini sasa kwa sababu nilikuwa na elimu, wakati watu wanazunguza kusu siasa, nani mzuri, nani mbaya, oh kitaumana, kitalipuka, pale pale minu kwa napata nafasi, ya kueleza mtu paka elewe, mahali alipo, pengine pale walipukua, na pale pengine anatarajia kuwa na pengine ni urongo. Ukijitia moyo na kukupatia nguvu, 
Mimi ni survivor wa gender based violence ilianza na maisha yangu katika hali ile ambayo nilipitia ya gender based violence hapo ndio niliona kuna wamama wengi wananyanyaswa na wanadhulumiwa kwa sababu hawajui haki zao niposa nikaamua kuchukua hatua ya kuweza kuenda na kuongea na wamama ili niweze kuwasaidia katika hali ya kujua eh, hali wanayogandamizwa na kupata haki zao moyo wangu pia ulikuwa kwa bado unaendelea katika hali zile ambazo napitia nilikuwa ni moyo wangu umefadhaika mpaka kafikia mahali ya kuwa nilikuwa na pressure kwa naenda kwa daktari na lazwa na muka na kunywa dawa dho naenda nikiongea na wenzangu na wapatia ushauri lakini mi mwenyewe pia ilikuwa kwa inaniuma na inanigandamiza kimaisha nilikuwa natembea lakini naona ni kama siishi niko tu lakini siishi kwa sababu people wananiangalia wanaona huu ni mwanamke strong lakini mimi mwenyewe nilifika mahali nikawa niko na breaking point yangu nimefika kwa breaking corner na hakuna mtu naweza mwambia so wakati kumekucha tulipopewa ile space that's when i was able now kutoa whatever that i was feeling na ile baden yote nikapatia mtu mwingine mimi na ai kumekucha sababu ni mradi ambao uko kivi yake na uko tofauti sana na miradi mingine ambayo yamekuja au mafunzo mengine ambayo yamekuja ni mafunzo ambayo anaweza mwelimisha hata yule ambaye hajasoma yule nyanya ambaye ana miaka 60 anaelewa na kitu ambacho kinaweza mponya moyo sasa mimi na ah, mafunzo yamesaidia sana kijamii na maibadilisha watu wale ambao wamebahatika kupata haya mafunzo kufia saa hii ukilinganisha maisha yao ambao walikuwa wakiishi mwanzo na saa hii ni tofauti sana in societies where barriers often break down and the line between what is right and wrong becomes blurred there is hope but that hope must come from within baada ya kusoma sasa ule mzigo sasa pengine ilikuwa dini umechukua mzigo kichwani umeka bigani lakini bado niko nao lakini kutokana na masomo sasa nikaona ah kumbe huu ni mzigo umetoka na yake wewe sasa nikaweza kuweka chini mzigo ambao pengine nimeubeba kwa zaidi ya miaka 10 alipoanza kutufundisha mimi niliona kama ah sasa masomo gani haya because ilikuwa in introduction mara katupatia mipira the more tulikuwa tunaendelea nilisikia kama mbaye nilikuwa nimebeba gunia la chumvi ambalo limejaa maji nilisikia kama mbaye nimeteremsha kuna mzigo umeteremka kwenye nini kwenye mwili wangu na nikasikia niko so relieved kumekucha nataka nishukuru kwa sababu imetuletea sisi mshipi wa kushika samaki sisi tumezoea tupatiwe samaki kila siku na ile haitatusaidia lakini kumekucha ni kama imetupatia mshipi wa kushika samaki kwa hivyo tunajua kesho tunawezaenda baharini tukapata chakula chetu cha kila siku I see the future of trauma healing as a cross cutting subject in all the sectors everybody needs healing everybody needs to be aware of what is trauma when you are traumatized how do you feel how do you think when you meet somebody you are serving uh, who is traumatized how do you handle that so i see trauma healing especially social healing as a cross cutting subject in all the sectors in our country the thing about our program that makes it sustainable is that we bring people to the table and they are the ones who are the convenings of these programs they're the ones who said that agenda they're the ones who set the tone and they're the ones who lead the processes on the ground we have all kinds of people who play unconventional roles who are never considered to come at the table whose voices are not heard they're the ones who are leading this process and i think that's the reason why it's sustainable and for them trauma healing and social healing and reconciliation and building resiliency in their community is their passion it's their purpose it's not a career for them That hope must come from understanding the problem first. That hope comes from here.